Hi, good day to everyone. Today, I would like to represent my subtopic which is a camera calibration. Okay, what is a camera calibration? For your information, camera calibration is the process of estimating in extrinsic and intrinsic parameters. Now, I will explain for both parameters. So, first of all, uh, intrinsic parameters is the deal with the camera internal characteristics which is a uh, focal length, skew, distortion and image center. For the extrinsic parameters, uh, it's, it is described the orientation and the position of the world. This is also allows you to estimate the scene's structure in Euclidean space and remove uh, lens resolution. We need calibration width for our calibration process where it is a fully automated uh, calibration for several planner target types that can can be easily printed on standard size paper which is the A4 this, There is a four types of uh, calibration grid which is a uh, chessboard, square grid, circle, negational, circle, regular grid As I mentioned previously, there are several calibration target that types that you can choose from. Which one that you you should choose? For the first types of calibration target, which is a chessboard. Okay, chessboard is the pattern are most popular and usually used. Okay, the advantage of using the chessboard target is uh, their corners are simple to detect and mostly invariant to lens resolution. Next, the disadvantage of this pattern is a height get right next to the image border, but you can get close. The next calibration targets for the second types is a square grids. Square grids allows you to get right up to the next image border. So the uh, advantage of these patterns is it is more complex for a library de developer for high precision. So the disadvantage of these patterns is uh, both CV does an extra step of refinement that enable very high precision corners to be found. However, the current approach is less accurate under fish eye lens distortion. For the third type is a circle hexagonal. It is a works well for regular camera lens. So it is typically less accurate than chessboard and square grid target because their feature cannot be measured. The target points are invariant under the perspective distortion. Sometimes a library will use the center point but this is advice because it is not invariant under perspective distortion so for the last one this is the circle regular grids this is basically have same pros and cons as circle hexagonal but this is don't have a circle density measurement so I can summarize for all the calibration target. For the first, use chessboard for the process. Next, use square grid if you're having trouble with the image border. Last but not least, circle based markers, cameras, but never for fish eye. So, we continue to the calibration process. In this section, the camera calibration procedure is divided into steps and the uh, explanation. So I will go a quick review for each step. For the first step, select a pattern which is I mentioned previously for the four pattern that I said before. So the next is you need, you need to download and print the calibration read. For the second step is uh, mount the pattern onto a rigid flat surface. For the third steps is uh, 
take many picture of target at different orientation and distance. Next, we go to the four steps, which is uh, downloads the pictures and compute to the select one that are in the focus. For the fifth steps, which is a uh, use provided examples to automatically detect calibration target and compute the parameters. For the last steps is uh, move calibration files to a safe location. So the file will, will be not be uh, corrupted. So I think that's all for me for the explanation of camera calibrations. Thank you for lending your ears. I hope you guys understand what I explained to you about the camera calibration. Thank you.